Hey guys, my name is Chris Winter, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to build a website using WordPress and Bluehost as your hosting service. And guys, I've got a gift for you for watching this tutorial. In the description box right below this video, I'm going to put a link where you can download 20 of the best WordPress themes totally for free. Now these WordPress templates or themes look incredible and with just one click, you can make your website look amazing. You don't need to know any coding to use these templates either and the best thing is they're totally free. Now I'm not going to keep this link up for long, so if you do want to access these themes, it'll be in the description box below right under this video. So let's jump into it and start building your website. So if you want to have this amazing looking website by the end of this video, which is totally possible to do, it's important that you watch every part of this video and follow every step. If you do miss steps or you don't watch it the whole way through, you'll probably have errors and these will be really hard to fix and you might have to pay someone to fix them for you. So I'd highly recommend watching every second of this video because there are some really important steps in the middle to the end of this video which will be critical to making sure that your website works perfectly. But if you do follow every step, you're going to have an amazing looking website by the end of this video. You can totally do it. So what do you actually need to create a website? Well, there are a few different steps. The first thing is you need to have website hosting, which is a place where your website's actually located. Every website has a website host, like Bluehost or Dreamhost or Hostgator. And I'll have links in the description box below to where you can get a really good discount on these. Next, you will need a domain name, something like www.yourwebsite.com or www.youtube.com. It's a place where people can actually go to get to your website. Now these normally cost around about 10 to $50 a year. But with the host that I recommend in the description box below, you'll be able to get these for free. And then you just need to install WordPress on your website. And I'll show you exactly how to do it. It's super easy. It's literally just like one click and it'll be installed. So that's all you need to do. You need hosting, you need a domain name, and you need to install WordPress. And then once all that's done, we can get onto the fun part, which is designing your website and making it look awesome. For today, we're going to use Bluehost as our website host. So the first step is to click the link in the description box below right under this video and that'll take you to Bluehost where you can set up your website. That link's also pretty sweet because it gives you over a 50% discount on your hosting. So it's the best link to use. So once you've clicked that, we can get started creating your website. So let's now set up our WordPress hosting with Bluehost. And like I said before, that link in the description box below is pretty sweet because it gives you a free domain name and also a pretty big discount from $7.99 to $3.95. So to get started, we're going to hit get started. And then you can choose the plan that you want. Honestly, for most people, you may as well just get the cheapest plan and save some money. It's only $3.95, which is really good value. The only other one I would recommend is this one here, which is called Plus, And this allows you to have unlimited websites, whereas the basic one only allows you to create one. But if you're only planning on creating one website, I'd probably go for this one. So let's do that one. Once you're ready, hit select. So I'm going to search for something like Chris Winter. I know .com's taken, so I'll go for chriswinter.online. Then you can hit next. Great, that one's available. So what I'm gonna do now is put in my account information, and then I'm gonna choose which plan I want. So the way it works with hosting is that it generally gets cheaper the longer that you stay with the hosting company. So you can see 36 months is $3.95 versus the 12 months, which is $5.95. Again, it's totally up to you which one you wanna have. If you know you're gonna have the website for longer than a year, probably best to go for the longer version and save some money. Or if you just want to have the 12 month one, you can do that. That's what we'll do today. Now they're going to try and upsell you on a few things here like domain privacy and code guard. You really don't need these. So deselect these if you want. Yes. And that'll save you a good $50. Then all you need to do is put in your card details and then we can agree to terms of service. And now we can get onto the fun stuff, designing your website. Let's hit submit. Awesome, that's done. Now we can hit create your account. As you can see, we have our domain name here, which we registered before. Now we can create a password to log into Bluehost and that's done. And then we can hit create. Great, now we can log in. So we'll log in with that password we just used. And then they're gonna ask you a few questions, but I highly recommend just skipping this. So we can go to the bottom and hit skip this step and then hit skip this step. And then we will actually put a bit of information in here. So what do we wanna name our site? Something like Chris Winter's website and my website, a tagline as well. Then you can say how comfortable you are. Hit continue. And then they're gonna install WordPress for us. It's super simple. So WordPress is now installed. How easy was that? So all we need to do now is click on WordPress and this will take us to our WordPress dashboard where we can get started designing our website. 
So we're here at your WordPress dashboard now, and as you can see, it's a little bit cluttered. This is because hosting companies always add in all of this stuff that you don't really need. So what I would highly recommend you do is go to the left here where it says plugins and click this. And then what we're gonna do is delete these plugins. So we're gonna scroll down and then click this button and click here, hit deactivate and then apply. And then we're gonna hit this button again and click delete. What this is going to allow us to do is have a nice fresh start and it's not going to slow us down with this website uh, with all of these plugins that we don't really need. So once you're happy with that and you've done that, what we're going to do is hit dashboard. Okay, so you were here at your WordPress dashboard and this is essentially the hub or the base of your WordPress website. You can see here that we can take a look at our posts, our pages, and we can add plugins as well to really make your website look great. But the first thing that we're going to do is actually go to plugins and we're gonna add a new one. The one that we're gonna to add to make this website really quick and to make it look really good without code is called Astra. To search for this, we go to the top right here and we're gonna search Astra. The plugin we're gonna install is called Astra Starter Templates. We're gonna click Install Now and then we can click Activate. So Astra comes with so many different WordPress templates which look really good and there's gonna be definitely one that should suit you. To see all the templates, all we need to do is go to C library. And as you'll see, there's a number of different WordPress templates with this Astra uh, plugin, which really are fantastic. They're all responsive, so they'll work really well on uh, Mac or PC or desktop. Uh, they're also gonna look, work well on tablets and phones. And you can see that there are a number of different ones which really would work well for different companies, for personal websites, blogs, and pretty much everything. Now, some of these templates are free and some of them are paid. Now, there's not a huge difference. Some of their free ones are really good. So in this tutorial, let's do free themes. To do this, all you need to do is go to the top here where it says all and then click on free. And this is gonna sort all of the free templates. And as you can see, there are still a number of different free templates which really will work fantastically. Now all of these are responsive, like I said, so they're gonna look great on both mobile and on your desktop. And I think the one that we're gonna to use today is one of my favorites, and it's this one down here on the right. It's called Sierra Industry. To preview it, all we need to do is click on it. And you can see that this here is a great one page website, but it's also got a number of other pages which have custom templates as well. You can preview these as well by simply clicking on them. Now, once we're happy with the template, we can simply click import complete site, and then hit import and this will start creating a website for you without you having to know any different coding, no CSS, no JavaScript, HTML at all. We're gonna get a great base template. And there we go, it's imported successfully. Once this is done, all we need to do is click view site and you're gonna see that we have a fantastic starting website which is really gonna look fantastic. As you see, we have a big hero image here with some nice text. We've got an about us section here which we can easily change. We've got another section here with a cool parallax effect. As you can see, the image is on the bottom which stays put, but the website glides over it. We have another section here which we can easily change as well. There's a lot to do right here. It's really looking fantastic. Now it's important to note that this is really easy to customize. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. And as you see, there are some stock images that come with this. And of course we can change these to suit whatever website you wanna have. So say you've got a fitness industry website, you can simply change the photos to that. If you've got a fashion brand, we can change that as well. So you don't have to keep these uh, images of course. So the great thing again with this theme is that it actually uses a plugin called Elementor. Now this is a really popular plugin and it makes it easy for anyone to edit your website. To do this, we simply go to edit with Elementor and click there. With Elementor, you're gonna be able to change the text, the images, and the layout of your website so simply, it's pretty much just like using a Word document. So as you can see right here, we could literally just change the text right here by clicking on it and deleting it and then simply adding whatever we want. So I think we might create a fashion brand here. Let's call it Khan Fashion. Co. I think that looks pretty good or even just we will, we'll get rid of the co. And if we wanted to add something else, simply click here and we can start deleting. It's so simple to use. Welcome to. Even the buttons here are really easy. You simply click wherever you want and then we can change it. We can go to the text up here and say, see our clothing line. 
Should spell that right. And it really is looking great. If we ever wanted to change the color of this button, all we need to do is go to style at the top here. We can change the background color. How about to a nice, to a nice gold color? I think this will look great. I think that looks pretty nice right there. Now, if you ever want to save your website, all we need to do is hit update down here in the bottom left. It's important to do this so you don't lose any of your documents. Now let's take a look at how this is going to look by simply closing this panel. You can see we've now changed the text here and it really is looking excellent. But I think it's important that we change this big background image. Of course, for a fashion company, we're going to, not going to want to have this big background image. So to do this, we simply open up this panel again. So we're using Elementor and then we right click anywhere on the image. So right click, hit edit section. Then we're going to go to style and we're going to choose our image. So we're going to click choose image. Now I have some images right here, which I'm going to use. And to upload the image, all you need to do is simply drag and drop it in. And you'll see it will automatically upload. That's uploaded now and I can click insert media and watch this. We now have a great background hero image looking really, really cool. As you can see, it's a little bit dark and this is because we have a background overlay on it. We can change this by simply going to background overlay and maybe making it a little bit darker or a little bit brighter. I think around there's a good level. Now, if we want to make this background image a little bit smaller, we can simply go to layout. We can change the height to fit to screen. So rather than it being really big, it's going to fit perfectly just on the screen. That looks really cool. So let's next change this next section right here. It's an about us section. And again, it's really easy to do with Elementor. We simply open up this panel. So we're in edit mode, then we can change whatever we want. So we could type right here, select it all and say, welcome to our clothing line. We create the best clothes in the world. Of course, you could change this to whatever you want, but I'm just showing you how easy it is to change and how quick it is to change using this method of uh, having the hosting, using Astra and then using Elementor. I think we don't need this section, so we can simply delete the text and you'll see that moves up. Now I'm not going to go into too much detail right here and add in all of this different text because this is just for a demo site. But of course, if you wanted to, you can do that yourself. Now, one of the great things with Elementor is that it's really easy to literally move different sections up and down. So say we have this section right here. What if I wanted to move this below this section? Well, it's really easy. We simply hover over here. You'll see that we have these six dots. We simply hold and we can drag it wherever we want. So we could have it here or we could have it here. And all I have to do, if I'm happy with it, is drop it. And you'll see this section here is now perfectly right here. I think we do want to have it above because it's good to have an introduction. So we can drop that there. And now it's looking really good. Again, when we're happy, click update. And it's going to be looking really, really nice. I think we want to change this button color again. So we simply select it, go to style, and we can change the background color. How about we make this one here a blue color? I think that it looks nice as well. Again, you can change the colors however you want. Once you're happy with it again, click update. And we're looking good. We can also simply change this page right here as well. So all we need to do again is the same as we did before. Right click, click edit section, go to style, and then we're going to click choose image. I think for this one, we want to have another photo. So I've got one. I think this one's going to look good. Simply drag it in and it's going to upload. Then we can click insert media. Now, if I'm ever going too fast for you, feel free to pause and go back and you can do it at your own pace. But I'm just going through this relatively quickly now so you don't have to sit through a three hour tutorial if you just want to get one page up. Again, we've got a background overlay here. We can change that. 
you can see actually that this one here is a little bit darker. I think we want it around about there. We can click update. Now, if you ever want to see what your website's going to look like on mobile, you can do this really easily. If we go down here, you can see that this has a responsive mode. We can click this and this is going to show us how it looks on desktop or on a tablet like an iPad or even on a mobile like a phone. You can see that it per works perfectly and is responsive simply by clicking on this. So it's going to look great on desktop, tablet, and mobile. To go back, we simply click here and go to desktop. So within about five minutes, we've created this great hero image here. We've got an about us section. We've got this section here, which again, we can simply change if we want to have something. So for example, we are a clothing company, so we can talk about our different clothes. We could talk about our, um, our robes our shorts, our accessories, for example, and you could have a short description as well, which you wanted to add. We're moving along really well. Now, if you do want to get a longer and more in-depth WordPress tutorial, I've definitely got those as well. I've got ones which go for about an hour, an hour and a half, and we'll go in and change absolutely everything here. But as you can see, we're really moving along quick here. And if you're following along, you should have your website looking great. So right here, we have a cool grid section. Let's change this and add in some photos. To do this, again, all we need to do is simply right click over the image, click edit image, and then choose image. And we'll drag some others in. I think we'll use perhaps this photo here. Drag that one. And then what we can do is click insert media. And then perhaps we'll edit this one as well. Simply click edit image, choose image, and we can use this photo, which we've already used. And then why not, we'll add one more. We'll go edit image, choose image, and I think we'll use this photo. So within just a few seconds, we've been able to add a really nice gallery of photos, which we could actually perhaps talk about different things that we do. You know, for example, we could say we could have uh, bridal showers. We could have um, engagement parties. And we could even have weddings or something like that. I'm not really sure. This is just for a demo. And of course, you'll have different uh, uses and different text for yourself. But we could change this title again. It's simply clicking on it and making it look good. We could write uh, what we offer. And if we ever want to get rid of this, we simply go here and delete it. It's so simple. If we're happy to do the, and if we're happy, we just click update. And let's take a look at how our stores, look. and let's take a look at how our website's looking now. So like I said before, we have this great big hero image up here with our text and a button. We can scroll down. We've got our nice about us page here. We've got this cool parallax effect with our information, which we could easily add and change with a little quote here as well with another button. And now we've added this great grid section here, which could work really well for so many different things. Down below here, we can easily even change this call to action. So we could perhaps have a um, something about when we're open. We're open five days a week and open from 6 a.m. And then perhaps we could say, see our hours here. So as simple as that, we've now added a call to action, which means that anyone can simply see what we need to show. And again, if we wanted to move this, we can simply drag this up and we could move this maybe here, that looks pretty good. Now, if we want to add another widget, we can do this. Simply, we go to the top left here where we've got this little grid and we can bring in whatever we want. So we could bring in another section, an image, galleries. We could even bring in a video. To do this, we simply drag video 
over to here. And you can see we have a great video here, which all we need to do is get the YouTube URL and we can change it. So let's do that. So we'll go to YouTube just quickly. And we can search for something like wedding because this is a wedding website. So we can grab this link here, copy that link and we'll throw it in. And as you will see, it's simply in there that quickly. We can click update. And as simple as that, we've now got a great looking website up and running in like 10 minutes. This is so easy to do. Of course, we can change the other pages as well. I'll show you quickly how to do this, but I'm not going to go too in depth in this. That's in my longer tutorial. So you can simply go on my channel and look up my longer WordPress tutorial. I've got a lot that can go really in depth with this, but I'll show you just quickly how you could do it. So for example, if we wanted to edit this about page, we can simply click on about and then we click edit with Elementor. And it's no different to editing the home page. It's super easy. We can simply edit this and edit anything we want. So we can just click here. We could change this to our story. Maybe make it a bit more personal. And then we could simply change the text here. We've been making clothes since 1989. Do you see how easy that is? It's simply so easy. And even right here, we have a really cool uh, effect which counts up different numbers. Now you might think this is gonna be really difficult to do. It's actually not. We can simply click here and change this number. So what if we had something about the weddings we do? So we could change this to 32 weddings. And then we can change the title down here to weddings per year, for example. And watch this. If I update this and we go and have a look at our about page now, you can see that as we scroll down, we have this amazing effect that says 32 weddings per year. So for example, you could have your own product and you could say that we, you know, create a thousand products per year and we could have 15 years of experience and we did 250 complete projects. How easy is that? And it's really eye-catching. I'll just show you once more how that looks. You can see that that looks so cool and anyone could do that. Again, let's just change this photo here. We know how to do this now. We simply right click, click edit section, go to style and we can choose the image. And we've already got these images uploaded so we can simply select whatever we want. How about we go with this one? Click insert media and it's looking amazing. We've got a great parallax theme and you can even change where the photo is gonna be positioned. So we could go and put this in the top center or we can put it in the top right. You can see how it's slightly moved for different things. Again, when you're happy, click update and we now have a great about page that's looking absolutely awesome. We've done this so quickly and you've got your website up and running, looking fantastic, super, super quick. Just one last thing before we end off this quick tutorial, I wanna show you how to change this logo because of course that's an important thing to do. Let's go back home and to do this, we simply click the WordPress button And what we need to do is go to appearance, Astra options, and then we're gonna upload our logo. It's as simple as that. We can click upload logo, and what it's gonna do is allow us to change the logo. So, as you see, we have the logo here, but what I want you to do is make sure that you click customize transparent header. This is important because this is going to work for this when we have a background image. So we're gonna actually change this one here. We're gonna change this to another logo. So I've got one here, which I can simply drag in. We'll go for a light logo here because we've got a dark background. Click choose image. And as you see, we have a great logo Simply change like that. We can even change how big it is. Let's make it a bit bigger. I think that looks really good. Again, click publish when you're happy. And then we can take a look at how that's gonna look. 
So there you can see we now have a great logo which matches the whole branding of the website. Now if we go to another page, you can see that it follows through everywhere on the page. So it really does look fantastic. So guys, within about 10 minutes, we've created this great hero image here with our logo at the top. We've got a nice parallax effect with our text and our button. We have a great about section. We've got another section where you could easily add in different products or different uh, things you wanna talk about. We've got our call to action. We've got another section here. We've even added a video which people can play. And of course, we've changed our about page, which is so easy to do. Very simple. And we've added this great little animation. Now, if you wanna go much more in depth, please do check out my YouTube channel where I have much longer uh, tutorials where we go really in depth with changing pages, really customizing different things, adding plug plugins. But I would highly recommend that you just rewatch this video Start with the hosting, make sure you get good hosting. It doesn't cost much. You don't even have to pay for a expensive template. Just use this free one and look how good this looks. And it's as simple as that. Within 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes, you have a basic website looking awesome and up and running. Good job. So there you go guys, that's how you build a WordPress website using Bluehost. It's not that difficult. Hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please do hit the thumbs up button because it really helps out the channel. And also make sure to subscribe if you did like this kind of video. I'm gonna make lots of videos about how to build websites and use WordPress in the future. I hope you have a great day, good luck with your website and I'll see you in the next video, bye.